what's up welcome back to another episode in my channel thank you so very much for clicking this video you guys i'm really so much happy if you are new to my channel if this is your very first time to click on my channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button below subscribe to my channel and uh, you can also hit the notification bell to notify you every moment i post my video so you guys guess what today you guys i'm really so much happy because i want to do an african culture video yeah i want to show you at least the african culture even the way i'm wearing the dress i'm wearing this one that i'm is this a uh, is it a less or shuka i don't know what whichever name you call it yeah you guys and i'm covering my head also at least to portray something in africa you know african um, women mostly they they used to cover their head yeah i think that is quite uh, long but still even up to date they still cover their head you guys so i'm doing this perfect video today leave a comment below what do you think about my outfit what do you think about the content that i'm trying to put this chair an african uh, uh, chair yeah this chair this one i think they were for, for a long time very very i can say long time ago there were these chairs you guys before the modern chairs came to africa these were the chair you guys and this chair is so much amazing it's quite low it's quite low it's not so high you guys they just use and something funny about this chair check you guys you can even make it like this and carry it you know and if you want to sit on it take a look at it you guys check the way it is moving yeah so this is an Af african culture you guys you know if we don't tell african stories nobody else will say it's so sweet so we have to tell our african so you guys here are the chicken they are being fed very early in the morning you see and uh, this is the african way of feeding the these you know the remaining ugali of yesterday or any other food that has been mm, made that uh, they can eat we give them very early in the morning the african way you guys Hi. the best african way of cooking it's the fastest you guys trust me the sweetest tea made by the milk direct from the cows So you guys, I'm trying to feed this chicken as well as preparing this maize. Whatever thing I'm carrying, what a, that thing that I'm putting maize on, you guys, I don't know the name. Please leave a comment below, let me know. And then, you see the house behind me? This is a, a, it's a house that is being made. It is not yet complete. So, you use the mud. Is it the mud? I don't know how, how to call it and fix it the way it looks then after that now you can use the the sand and all those things bricks or whatever thing you want to make it to uh, then complete the building to make it look so perfect yeah so you guys i'm trying to make this maze uh, clean african way you guys yeah the African way of making them look so perfect. Here is the it's whatever thing I'm doing. Here. So after milking the cow and maybe you have excess milk, um, it is being separated. Some are being placed in this thing. I don't know the name, you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know the name of whatever thing I'm using. Yeah, so you place the milk there, you guys. And uh, um, after some time, you start making it just the way I'm doing. It comes out so, so sweet. It's uh, thick, you guys. It's thick and it is the sweetest milk you can ever taste african way you guys yeah so i really really prefer 
taking ugali with that milk because it comes off the sweetest after all at the end of it you get the oil there is an oil that comes from milk it is a, a very nice oil that comes out of here you guys yeah so this is so sweet africa is so wonderful africa africa is blessed you guys visit africa and see all these things by yourself So you have to transfer that milk to maybe a jug then you guys um there is a uh, the oil that will that will come out this one you see you see the thick the thick one yeah that one is the oil that comes out it is so natural and so so sweet yep so so wonderful you guys african way so you guys check this this is they used to store some milk the milk that is coming out is quite thick it's like thick you okay it's an african food i think it's an african dish and if you want to taste it you guys this thing is so sweet by the way that's why i'm trying to make it yeah i'm being taught by my mom how to to do this you guys so the milk that is coming out is so sweet and it's quite uh, sour like it tastes like uh, it has a taste you know guys you can eat, you can use the milk to you drink it and you eat ugali with it you guys and out of it still you get some what can i say is it an oil yeah from direct from the cow you know that after storing that milk there is a this there is a the oil that is coming up the one that i was removing you guys yeah so i've decided to do this african video you guys it's so beautiful i really love this you guys yeah so you guys whoever need uh, the milk not even the milk the it is the oil that I'm, I'm talking about the one that is homemade direct from the cow you guys it has no chemical it is just natural if you need it you can contact me my mom is making this thing so sweet you people we have so so much of it in store so if you need it you can contact me leave a comment below if you need one then you'll get it direct from me yeah this is a place for goat and sheep yeah this is the outside part of it it looks like this you guys yeah africa is beautiful the culture is beautiful everyone is like be proud to be an african you guys we have to tell our own stories if you don't tell an african story and you are an african who do you think can say it better than you nobody can say an african story more than i can do So you guys, this is where the goat and sheep really sleep. They sleep in this place. So as you can see, uh, it has different portions. Like these are the, the small goats now. In this house, okay, it has a door. Check the door. It has this door. So you just enter. Yeah, so you guys, this is, this is another room. It is an African maid. Check this. It closes and opens. So the goats stay here, or the sheep. Or if there is a goat that has maybe given, uh, gave back to a, a young one, they always stay here. And now to the rest of the rest of the sheep or goat, they stay all around. There's another place here is another place again so this is uh, for someone an african home maybe with a few goats few sheep so they make something like this at least to prevent the sun and also when it is raining you guys yeah so this is an african way of making a, a goat or a sheep house so that they cannot be stolen you know guys so this this is where they just come in and every goat knows where they sleep you guys yeah so i'm really satisfied that i hope i've sent a message this is an african culture and i have to tell this story you guys yeah guys check this 
it is used to store water the drinking water mostly yeah so this is how do you call it is it a pot yeah this is what uh, this is an african way of storing water drinking water the water inside is very very cold you guys yeah but um maybe let me say before civilization this is what people used to go to the river to fetch water with me i think it's too like is it too heavy from the stream to home this i think is too heavier this is the the modern way of storing water very cold it's like a refrigerator it's very very cold even when the weather is too hot the water still stay cold you guys yeah inside so this water is used for drinking this it's used for drinking it's very very cold <laughs>